Hello, my purple banditos. Welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Now, last time we were actually getting ready to make our way to Cinnabar Island, but there are a couple things that you guys suggested that I need to take care of before we get going. Now, if you guys remember, we were here looking at some fossils, or at least we talked to Gary, who told us that we needed to go and search some fossils. We obtained the pickaxe. Now, I didn't realize that this was where a special event took place, so that's what we're going to be doing today before we make our way to Cinnabar. So, I am hoping that this event won't take too long, and it should be actually pretty pretty cool because if uh, those of you guys who have played through the game I'm guessing you probably already know what's coming up and I should have figured that this was the spot where you do it especially when it starts talking about all these prehistoric Pokemon and all you know all these different fossils that are everywhere didn't real realize it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it today which is actually very exciting because you know it's something that I've kind of been waiting for for a long time and I wasn't sure where in the timeline of the anime was actually gonna show up so as you guys can see there's a little hole down here so let's go ahead and make our way down and as I said I read a lot of you guys suggestions so I know a lot of what's gonna be coming up now in this area you can actually get a couple fossil Pokemon like Kabutops and those sorts of Pokemon. I have the Repel on for now though because I don't want to be running into them. But if you're interested in getting the fossils, you know, maybe you want to differentiate differentiate your team from, you know, the typical anime team, I suggest you come and do it here. You know, add some of these really cool Pokemon that you can't find anywhere else. I, I'm guessing anywhere else. They're probably down here in this cave. Uh, so if that's what you want to do and switch things up, you know, by all means, you guys go ahead and add them to your team. But as you guys could see right up there, there is a Pokemon, a strange looking Pokemon, and he looks quite prehistoric himself. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it on. I believe this is where we take it on. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and talk to it. It's the prehistoric Pokemon Aerodactyl. It grabbed Rodri in its claws and lifted him out of the cave. Okay, where's it taking me? We're outside. It says the wild Aerodactyl attacked in a ravenous rage. We're going to battle him. Alright guys, so as you can see, just like in the anime, Charmeleon is evolving right after defeating the Aerodactyl. So, you know in the anime, Charmeleon wants to chase it down because, I don't know if it was because it is taking down Ash, or for the fact that it just was really excited to battle a Pokemon that was going to be close to its strength. So with that guys, congratulations to us, our Charmeleon has evolved into Charizard. So very cool, now we have a cool, awesome Charizard on our, on our team. Aerodactyl fainted in, into the Canyon Cave. With that guys, I'm, ooh, it's a strange looking egg. Want to take it? We received the egg. I'll meet you guys back probably when we make our way back to Cinnabar. So I'll be back in a couple seconds. Okay, guys. So really quickly, Togepi hatched from the egg. I did not expect this to happen. So it kind of randomly just popped up, you know, randomly running around. I guess it took very little steps, maybe like 100 steps. And with that, guys, what? Misty? Okay, let's talk to her. Oh, it hatched. It hatched. How cute. Uh, do you want it? You know, Rodri, I think I should get to keep Togepi because he likes me the best. It's obvious, Togepi has made the right choice. Huh, you want to keep it too? I, I don't want to keep it! All right, we're going to battle her. Okay, so with that, we defeated Misty. Uh, look, Togepi doesn't want to go to anyone else but me. He likes me because it thinks I'm its mother. I, honestly, you can have it. I mean, I don't really have much room for this Pokemon on our team. And we're going to go ahead and give her the Misty. Now, I'll be back once we make our way to Cinnabar Island. Okay, so we're finally back here. No more crazy events, hopefully. Oh, motherfucker. Hey, look. What's a loser like you doing trying to get on this boat? Huh? You want to go to Cinnabar Island to get a badge? Roger, you're clueless as usual. Only tourists go to Cinnabar Island. It's a resort. I earned so many badges already that I'm taking a break to work on my tan. If you're heading to Cinnabar to get a badge, you'll see that you're wasting your time. Cinnabar Island doesn't even have a gym. What? See ya, Rodri. 
See you later, man. I guess Cinnabar Island doesn't have a gym. Regardless, we are still going to go there because I know that is most likely the place that we need to be. We've collected pretty much everything else we could in this game. And what is this? The Pokemon Lab. Okay, a lot of strange things going on here. What a beautiful island. There's a strange guy. So you're wondering why Cinnabar Island became so popular with tourists? The answer is a riddle. What do tourists think is hot and cool? The answer, hot springs. Because of the hot spring from the volcano, tourists have taken over Cinnabar as a vacation getaway. Trainers don't come anymore. Tourists, they've ruined the island. The Pokemon Gym, it's right where you put your glasses. In front of your eyes. Okay, guys. Blaine got tired of battling trainers who cared more about postcards and t-shirts than about Pokemon. That's why he abandoned the gym. If you're looking for a badge, you've come to the wrong place. If you need a place to stay, try out my big riddle inn. Alright, thanks. What a nice fella. Alright, with that, guys, we are at the Big Riddle Inn, so let's head inside then and see if we can stay here. Welcome to the Big Riddle Inn. I'm sorry, but I can't give you a room now. I just learned that the Pokemon Lab is under attack by thieves. I wonder who it could be. Honestly, at this rate, do we even have to ask who it's going to be? I'm going to go ahead and stock up on a couple supplies, though. It's been a while since we've had the chance to buy some. I feel like we've been running around with a lack of supplies, so it's kind of good that we're finally going to get the chance to stock up a little bit. You know, it's good to stock up on supplies, especially when I feel like a lot of craziness is coming. I don't even know what's coming, but I just feel like we're going to need them. This game keeps getting progressively harder, and it's been getting a little bit more difficult. Oh, finally, some max repels, too. That's going to be good. I'm guessing we'll probably be using those very soon. All right, with that done, let's go ahead and check out who the thieves that have been vandalizing the lab are. Oh, they look familiar. I wonder who these guys could be. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. Maybe we've battled. Maybe we haven't. All right, well, I'm guessing we're going to have to go ahead and battle these guys. So sticking true to the anime, you can just see I tried to use Charizard and he wasn't listening to me. So I'm guessing that's going to be a problem as things get going. We're going to need, you know, a little help. Hey, what's up, Nurse Joy? Maybe you could help me out with this Charizard. I don't think he's listening to me because I am just, you know, I'm just so much cooler than it. I, uh, I'm bigger. You know, definitely much bi No, no, you don't. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Well, we have to figure out where the heck we go from here. Because I'm really not sure. Maybe we can stay at the inn now. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Maybe now that the thieves are gone, we can stay at this inn. Rodri, I heard how you helped save the Pokemon lab. You deserve a big reward, so I'll let you in on a little secret. Blaine built a gym that tourists never see. It's in the place where firefighters can never win. A place where firefighters can never win. Now, luckily enough, I've watched the anime. Cinnabar Hot Springs. Uh, Cinnabar Island Free. So I kind of know a little bit. I know that we have to get to the volcano. And I am going to go ahead and assume that you did you can see there's it looks like there's something here it looks like there is a a nice little boulder there chilling i mean or maybe we're just taking a swim in the hot springs for fun the rock is loose what all right with that a cave is open the rocks fell away to reveal the opening in the wall let's head inside then and this must be where blaine is which makes me a little bit nervous because we're about to take on our seventh gym leader in kanto Woo! all right who do i have in front for us of course i'm gonna open up with squirtle Oh, it'd be so much easier if Squirtle was evolved. But what do you guys say we talk to him? I guess you saw my riddle. Here's another one for you. It's not a hat, but it keeps your head dry. If you wear it, it's because you already lost it. The answer, a wig. What the? What a genius. Don't you get it? I wear a wig because I'm really Blaine, the gym master. So you want to challenge me? We'll have a three on three. Okay, a three on three. Whoa, okay, so that's kind of cool. That's definitely a little bit different here. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit tough. Who do I want to deposit? I think Bulbasaur for sure. And Pidgeotto. Okay, well, we're going to keep out Charizard, I guess. So, ready to begin? Here we go, Rodri versus Blaine, Cinnabar's gym leader. We're going to be taking on here in the volcano. It's a three-on-three -three battle, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little bit exciting. I feel like we haven't had a three-on-three -three or something crazy of this multitude yet. I'm going to throw out the rain dance. I am using my head for once. I'm thinking of some strategies for you guys. Something that might not make you cringe from, uh, you know, seeing me go for some dumb moves. I'm probably still going to do some dumb moves. 
But hey, at least I got a type advantage going into this. And I believe that our team can do it. I, I probably shouldn't have kept Charizard. I feel like that guy's not going to listen to me. But what are the odds it comes down to Charizard? You know, what, what are the odds? What are the odds? I feel like Squirtle should do a pretty good job. We, we You know, we, we have the type advantage. We're not doing that hot right now, but, you know, oh, not doing that hot, get it, because we're in a volcano, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and actually heal up some, because I want to get rid of this, this, uh, you know, confusion. I hate when my Pokemon have confusion. I think it's definitely one of the most annoying things, especially going through caves. The Zubats confuse you, you can't take them down, you, get, you end up killing yourself. It's really frustrating. You know, that's one of the things that really gets me. But as you can see, Ninetales is barely doing anything to us, so I'm going to go ahead and try to knock it a toxic mother fudge. Alright, so this thing has pretty much the most annoying possible moves on Earth. You know, something that's going to poison us, something that's going to confuse us. That's going to do not as much as I wanted it to. Not as much. But you know what? I believe, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, take it down. You know what? This is only the first Pokemon. Makes me a little bit nervous. I, I think, I'm pretty sure his last Pokemon is going to be a Magmar. Uh, just because I've watched the show. I'm guessing that's going to be it. And I was really, really hoping that Squirtle would clutch this out and pretty much be able to take down oh wow we hit a crit nice okay but the poison's probably gonna take us down here is the poison gonna take us down are we gonna survive can i use a potion right on his next oh mother fudge we have pikachu that was a bad call all right well we're gonna keep out squirtle then i don't know if the poison's actually gonna kill me here it might yeah this is gonna take me down come on one hp mother fudge now we have pikachu Oh, man, this is just gonna suck a little bit guys Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and actually revive. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna revive our Squirtle I think Squirtle is gonna be the biggest component to taking down Blaine here and uh, sunny day mother fudge You guys think I could paralysis is this, this, this right on that'd be really cool if I could do that if I could paralyze it I think that would definitely help but let me go ahead and actually heal up first and then we'll continue on and see what strategies we have out here our Pokemon are pretty chained up but you know what makes it really difficult in this game? And this might be something that you guys have encountered as well. The fact that we can't evolve our Pokemon is so frustrating. Because I believe, you know, imagine if we had a Blastoise right now. You know, going on par with levels. Uh, you know, just like our Charizard. Our Charmander is now a Charizard. Our Squirtle by now would have been a Blastoise. We could absolutely just destroy Blaine's Gym. We could probably sweep this guy with Blastoise. But there's not much we can do at this rate. So it's kind of a little annoying, a little frustrating uh, that we can't do that if we eventually get to the Elite Four. I'm not really sure what's, what's going to come up on the on the anime, actually. It might not be the Elite Four. It might be something else. But, you know, if we have to evolve our Pokemon, that might be something we have to do. Because if I can't beat them with, you know, these first stage Pokemon, things might get a little bit more difficult. All right, so this is going to take a little bit longer. It's gotten a little bit more difficult to take down this little Rhydon. Come on, let's keep it going, though. Man, this is actually a lot tougher of a gym than I expected it to be. I thought with us having Squirtle, we would have a big upper, you know, hand. We would have a big advantage. But honestly, it's not going that great so far. At least we have the rain going. We don't have the sunny day anymore. So that's going to, you know, at least strengthen us up a little bit. I can't wait till we learn Surf. I'm hoping that we learn Surf. I need a stronger move than Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is not cutting it. Super effective. Was that a crit? That was insanely, that was an insane amount of damage. And here we go, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. Magmar against Squirtle. This is the moment we've been looking forward to, and hopefully we can hit a couple crits and uh, knock this Magmar down, if anything. Fire Blast, how much is that going to do to us? Probably not that much. Oh, fudge! Okay. Oh, what? And we're burned? Okay, this is not going in our favor whatsoever. Let's hope for a big crit here. Oh my goodness, we probably could have took it down with one more hit. Oh, mother fudge. Okay, this has got to be rigged. This has got to be freaking rigged. It's going to be Charizard on Magmar straight out of the anime. Here we go, guys. Charizard, who won't freaking listen to me, versus Magmar. I'm going to go for the Seismic Toss. Pretty sure that's the move they used in the anime. So, luck have it. We are going to have to freaking battle our way through this. And let's just hope that Charizard listens to me. There we go and listen to me. All right. Nice. Maybe... Just maybe we stand a chance here. Oh, no. Okay. That is not good. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Here we go, guys. Seismic toss. With that, we should have defeated Magmar. Magmar has gone down. And we just went hand in hand with the anime. We defeated Leader Blaine. I've been under nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the volcano badge.
With that, guys, we have earned the Volcano Badge, the seventh out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. One more to go. The Volcano Badge heightens the special attack of your Pokemon. You can have this, TM38. All right, well, we put TM38 in our case. It's Fire Blast. I think we'll be okay without it for now. Fire Blast is the ultimate move. Don't use it on water Pokemon. Thanks, Blaine. See you later. It's really hot in here. I think I'm going to go cool off and just oh my goodness we got to hop in the hot springs now how we don't burn up you know in that place i do not know i'm gonna go ahead and heal up everybody though because next time guys we're gonna continue the adventure right from this point we're gonna see where we're going so you know just let me know what's going on leave me some tips leave me some hints thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode where hopefully we know where we're going goodbye